Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm working on Afrocentric office supplies. For this first craft, I'm using uh, an African jewelry or African findings, jewelry findings, um, to create a um, African inspired paper clip. So I'm just using the E6000 glue to glue it to the back of the clip, I mean the earring. So I'm pretty much repeating the same process, just using different forms of African findings. Um, here I'm using African bone beads uh, for the paper clip. But I think it's a really clever idea of finding some alternative ways that you can use your African findings as well as your um, office supplies that you may have at home. For the second project, I'm using a magnetic clip and I'm going to be using an uh, African beaded earring and gluing that to the center. For this final project, I'm doing another DIY clipboard um, that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'll be using the African print paper that I got from Michaels. One of the differences between this clipboard and the last one is that I decided to use spray paint. And I wanted to show you guys um, one of the differences or the issues I went ran into when creating this project. First, I tried to spray paint it with white spray paint that was supposed to be a, um, a primer. But you can see how it's left like a chalky residue afterwards, and it was terrible. So I ended up using a white acrylic gloss paint first, and then going over it with the pink spray paint. For the next step in this process, I'm going to be using my decorative paper and some uh, Mod Podge to glue the paper to the paper clip. And then I'll be cutting a space to make sure it's snug around the clip.
Because I believe you should always keep your scraps, um, I wanted to use some of the leftover paper. So what I decided to do is decorate the back of the clipboard. So I'm going to be using some of the excess paper and the shape of the continent of Africa. And I'm just gonna make little Africas on the back of the clipboard. And then I'm going to be using um, some spray paint, some clear acrylic spray paint as a sealant. This step is completely optional. You don't have to do it, but if you have the extra time and paper, I would say go for it to do something to the back of it. But once again, it was just an option. I also wanna let you guys know how much I have fallen in love with this Rust-Oleum Triple Thick Glaze. This stuff is awesome. I've used it on a couple of paper projects, and what I love about it, which I'll demonstrate here, is that it pretty much turns the paper almost into a vinyl and it kind of helps make it water resistant which i think is great for trays paper clips or whatever so if you have not gotten this i would definitely suggest you guys get some for your stash See, here is my attempt to show you how the water pretty much just kind of beads up and not soaks through the paper and kind of works as a water uh, resistant. Um, so I really like that the outcome with, with using this triple glaze. So here it is, here's the complete look of these DIY projects. I hope that you guys enjoy, and if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. I'll see you next week.